Definitely one of the confusing parts of this technology is just the, the overall power. If it seems like everyone is suddenly talking about AI, that is because they are. At this point, I'm sure you've heard of chat GPT. We're hoping to build intelligence that will be smarter than humans and to have it be safe and maximally aligned with human values. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI. OpenAI has changed the world by releasing ChatGPT in November 2022, and success came quickly. ChatGPT was able to gain 1 million users in the first 5 days of its release. In just 2 months, it crossed a milestone of 100 million users. Now, the company generates $3.4 billion in annual revenue with a growth rate of unbelievable 580%. But it wasn't an easy win for OpenAI. They reported a loss of about $540 million in 2022 before the release of ChatGPT. This loss was primarily due to the high costs associated with the significant investments in computing infrastructure needed to train and run large language models like GPT. Experts say that ChatGPT could cost up to $700,000 per day to operate. In addition, the company was losing employees who left to establish their own AI startup, Anthropic, which would later compete with OpenAI in the same field. So who is behind the company that started the technological revolution? How did they overcome overcome all obstacles and achieve the impossible, and why, despite huge success and billions in revenue, it remains unprofitable. 2015-2018, the beginnings as a non-profit. It all started back in 2015. Google and its AI division DeepMind were dominating the AI scene. While dominating the AI market, the main figure of Google, Larry Page, wasn't concerned about threat AI could cause to humankind. So I used to be close friends with Larry Page, and I would stay at his house, and we'd have these conversations long into, long into the evening um, about AI, and I, I, would, I would be constantly urging him to be careful about the danger of, of AI. and. Um, Elon Musk saw this as a potential risk and decided to bring together the brightest minds from AI and startup to establish OpenAI. His vision was for OpenAI to be the opposite of Google, transparent and open source, in contrast to Google's closed up and for profit approach. The name OpenAI reflects their commitment to openness. In 2015, OpenAI was officially founded by Sam Altman, Elon Musk, and a group of top AI researchers and entrepreneurs, including Greg Brockman, Ilya Suskever, Andrei Karpaty, and others. The founders pledged $1 billion to the organization, although only 130 million were collected by 2019. Despite the funding challenges, OpenAI's mission was clear – to freely collaborate with other institutions and make its research publicly available. OpenAI was headquartered at a pioneer building in the Mission District, San Francisco. Greg Brockman, one of the founders, met with Yoshio Benju, one of the founding fathers of Deep Learning, and recruited some of the best researchers in the field. Although they couldn't match salaries offered by tech giants like Facebook and Google, OpenAI's mission attracted top talent. People joined not for the money, but for the opportunity to move humankind closer to building safe AI. 2016-2018. First projects. Jim 2016. OpenAI's first project, Jim, was like a playground for AI. It provided a set of tools that allowed researchers train and test AI models in different virtual environments from video games to simple tasks like balancing a pole. The idea was to create a standard way to measure and improve how AI learns. The gym became a vital source for anyone working on AI, helping to speed up the development of smarter and more adaptable systems. OpenAI 5 2017 Imagine teaching AI to play team sport. This was the challenge with OpenAI 5. The project focused on the game Dota 2, which is a complex video game where players must work together and make quick decisions to destroy other teams' building called Ancient. OpenAI trained five AI agents to play as a team competing against human professionals. By 2017, these AI players were so professional they could beat world champions. This project showed just how far AI had come in understanding strategy, teamwork and fast decision making. Deck till 2008. 18. Dactyl was a robotic hand that learned to solve Rubik's Cube, just like a human might. What made Dactyl special was that it was trained in a virtual world before being tested in the real one. The AI learned to deal with unpredictable nature of physical objects, showing how AI could be used in robotics in tasks that require adaptability and precision. GPT-1 
2018. GPT-1 was OpenAI's first step into creating an AI model that could understand and generate human language. It wasn't just another chatbot, GPT-1 could generate summaries, summarize text and translate languages. This model laid the groundwork for AI that could communicate more naturally and effectively than ever before. The first model had 170 million parameters. Keep that number in mind for comparison with subsequent models. Think of parameters as the brain settings. An AI model is like a brain that learns from information. Parameters are like little switches inside the brain that get turned up or down as it learns. The more it learns, the better it gets at making decisions, just like a human brain gets better at things with practice. The same year Elon Musk stepped down from the board, citing potential conflicts of interest with his work at Tesla. Musk believed that OpenAI is falling behind other major players like Google in the race to develop advanced AI. He even proposed taking over OpenAI himself, but the board rejected it. GPT-2 2019. GPT-2 was a breakthrough model with 1.5 billion parameters capable of generating human quality text. From creative writing to answering complex questions, GPT-2 showed the world the potential of AI in language. But with great power came great responsibility. OpenAI initially held back the full version of GPT-2 because they were worried that this AI model can be misused. 2019. Transition to for-profit. In March 2019, OpenAI made a big shift, transforming from non-profit to kept for-profit model. This means that profits were kept at 100 times the initial investment. This change allowed OpenAI to attract more investment investors and offer employees stakes in the company. This way, they will be able to compete with tech giants like Google and Facebook. Microsoft quickly became a key partner, investing $1 billion and providing the cloud computing power needed to support OpenAI's ambitious projects. In all of this, we're lucky to have a partner who is instrumental in making it happen. So I'd like to bring on a special guest, Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. <laughs> OpenAI Global LLC, the for-profit arm, started focusing on commercializing its technology. The shift to a for-profit model raised eyebrows, as some critics were arguing that it clashed with OpenAI's mission to democratize AI. Despite this, OpenAI continued to push forward, driven by the belief that they would need unprecedented amount of capital to achieve their main goal – artificial general intelligence. 2020-2023 ChatGPT, Dali, and the Microsoft partnership. GPT-3, 2020. In 2020, OpenAI released GPT-3 with 175 billion parameters, making it the most advanced AI model so far. GPT-3 could do everything GPT-2 could, but much better. It could write stories, create code, and even hold conversations that felt genuinely human. GPT-3 was a massive leap forward, setting the stage for AI to become a part of everyday life from virtual assistants to creative tools. However, not everything was smooth sailing. Between December 2020 and January 2021, 11 employees left OpenAI to establish their own AI company, Anthropic. They released their own AI model named Claude in March 2023. Despite underperforming compared to ChatGPT, Claude is doing really well. As of May 2024, Claude AI received a total visit of 65.6 million, witnessing a drop from the previous month's total visit of 66 million. According to the report by Statista, the company behind Claude, Anthropic, acquired $4.2 billion and was ranked the second top AI startup to acquire the most funding, falling behind OpenAI. Delhi 1, 2021. OpenAI didn't want to stop at GPT, so they decided to create text-to-image AI model. Revealed in 2021, Dali is a transformer that creates images from textual descriptions. Dali uses a 12 billion parameter GPT-3 model to interpret natural language inputs. Dali 1 was like magic. You typed in a description and the AI created an image from scratch. Want to see a two-headed flamingo on a skateboard? Dali 1 could make it happen. This project showed that AI could be extremely creative and generate unique and sometimes even surreal images. GPT 3.5 2022 But this was just the beginning. The next project gained tremendous success, leaving all the ex-employees with FOMO effect. The 30th of November 2022 was probably the most important day of this decade. On this day, ChatGPT was publicly released. This popular AI chatbot was able to gain 1 million users in the first 5 days of its release, and the platform crossed a milestone of 100 million users in just 2 months. This made ChatGPT the second fastest growing platform to gain 100 million users globally, 
falling behind Threads, which gained 100 million users in two days. Taking into account that Threads was released on Instagram, a platform with over 2.4 billion users, ChatGPT was a tremendous success. ChatGPT's huge success set off a race among tech giants, pushing companies like Google, Meta and Amazon to launch their own AI models. ChatGPT's impact didn't stop there, its growing popularity raised serious concerns about AI taking over jobs. This led to countless discussions of whether it will happen in future. Goldman Sachs report even predicted that AI could disrupt up to 300 million jobs worldwide. Delhi 2, 2022. Delhi 2 took the creativity of the first model and made it even better. The images were more detailed and realistic and matched the text descriptions more closely. Delhi 2 opened up new possibilities for artists and designers and basically anyone who needed custom visuals. This was pushing AI-generated art into the mainstream. In early 2023, Microsoft deepened its partnership with OpenAI, announcing a $10 billion investment and plans to integrate OpenAI's technology into its products like Bing, Edge and Microsoft Office. This was seen as a direct challenge to Google, so they had to quickly respond with their own AI initiative. On the 21st of March 2023, Google released its own AI chatbot, BART, which will be later called Gemini. GPT-4 GPT-4 took everything that worked in previous models and made it better. Rumors claim that GPT-4 has 1.76 trillion parameters, allowing it to understand and generate text with more nuance, handle more complex tasks, and even work with images alongside text. GPT-4 pushed the limits of what we thought was possible with AI, making it more versatile and powerful than ever. By May, OpenAI's leaders, including Sam Altman, were advocating to create a global watchdog to oversee the development of super-intelligent AI. This emphasized the need of international cooperation to manage risks associated with the development of AI. My worst fears are that we cause significant we, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. Uh, I think that could happen in a lot of different ways. It's why we started the company. In the summer of 2023, OpenAI launched the Super Alignment project aimed at ensuring the future AI systems remained aligned with human values. This was followed by the acquisition of Global Illumination, a startup focused on using AI to develop creative digital tools. In November 2023, OpenAI introduced GPTs, a feature allowing users to create customized versions of ChatGPT, further broadening the potential applications of AI. However, the demand was so high that OpenAI temporarily suspended new signups for their premium features. However, they reopened it after that. Delhi 3, 2023. Delhi 3 was the next step in AI creativity. It gave users even more control over the images it generated, allowing for detailed and complex visuals that perfectly matched what the users had in mind. Whether it's for marketing, art, or just fun, Delhi 3 made AI generated images more precise and accessible than ever before. GPT 4 Turbo, 2023. On the 14th of March 2023, OpenAI announced GPT-4 Turbo. It was capable of accepting text and image inputs and was about speed and efficiency. It delivered the same high-quality results as GPT-4 but was designed to work faster and at a lower cost. This made it ideal for applications where quick responses are essential, like customer service or real-time content creation. In February, OpenAI shocked AI enthusiasts with Sora. It was OpenAI's bold leap into creating videos from text. Imagine typing out a scene and watching it come to life in a short video clip. Sora was still in the early days, but it showed the potential for AI to go beyond images and go into the world of motion opening up exciting possibilities to filmmakers, advertisers and creators. Just take a look at how it turns simple prompts into stunning videos. Since Sora is a brand new AI model, there is still a lot of work to be done to identify and address any potential issues. Its release date has not yet been announced. GPT-40 2024. On the 13th of May 2024, OpenAI announced and released GPT-40, which can process and generate text, images and audio. And the best part is, they made the newest version accessible to everyone for free. You no longer needed a subscription to access the newest version. GPT-40 also enabled voice assistance with quick response times. 
On top of that, OpenAI released a desktop version of ChatGPT that analyzes active tabs and helps you solve your tasks, thus increasing work efficiency and providing incredible convenience. OpenAI also understands the huge power they have and do not forget about helping people with disabilities. In this video, they demonstrate how GPT-4O can help the blind to navigate. The company has grown into a major player in the tech world, making headlines with both its challenges and successes. OpenAI is a big business, pulling in a lot of money, but it's also spending a ton. The company has brought in $3.4 billion in revenue in 2024, mostly through partnerships and selling access to its AI models. Companies are lining up to use OpenAI's technologies in their products, which has turned into a major source of income. However, it's not all profit. Despite making a lot of money, OpenAI is also dealing with even greater losses. Running and developing advanced AI models can cost a fortune. OpenAI is expected to spend nearly $4 billion this year on Microsoft servers and almost $3 billion on training its models. With its workforce of around 1,500 employees, expenses could reach up to 1.5 billion. In total, operational cost may hit 8.5 billion, while revenue stands at only 3.4 billion, generating a loss of $5 billion in 2024 alone. So, despite the huge success of cutting-edge AI models, the company remains unprofitable like it was in 2022 before the release of ChatGPT. OpenAI is willing to accept huge losses to develop the best AI models and surpass their competitors. They really succeed in this, but at a cost of huge losses. OpenAI isn't slowing down though, they're working on a lot of exciting projects right now. Their new text-to-video AI model is now only available for a red team of researchers. On the 10th of June 2024, at WWDC, it was announced that OpenAI had partnered with Apple to bring ChatGPT features to Apple Intelligence and iPhone. We're excited to partner with Apple to bring ChatGPT to their users in a new way. Apple shares our commitment to safety and innovation, and this partnership aligns with OpenAI's mission to make advanced AI accessible to everyone. Together with Apple, we're making it easier for people to benefit from what AI can offer. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI. This is a huge win-win for both players. Apple can significantly cut costs on AI integration since they use pre-built AI models, and OpenAI gains access to a huge new audience. Just for you to compare, as of 2023, there are an estimated 1.46 billion active iPhone users worldwide, while ChatGPT has 200 million users. OpenAI has seen some shakeups recently. Key leaders like Ilya Sutskever, one of the minds behind OpenAI's AI models, left the company, citing concerns about the directions things are going. This caused a bit of a stir, as Ilya Sutskever wasn't the only one to leave the company. Other top researchers also resigned around the same time. Then there's ongoing legal drama. Elon Musk sued OpenAI, claiming they've drifted from their original mission to prioritize profits over public good. Although the lawsuit was briefly dropped, Elon Musk reopened it, keeping the pressure on OpenAI's leaderboard. Despite these challenges, OpenAI continues to be a leader in AI space. They're pushing the boundaries of what AI can do while navigating the tricky balance of profit, innovation and ethics. The company's future will depend on how well it manages these pressures while still developing groundbreaking technology. If you are following the world of AI, OpenAI is definitely a company to keep an eye on. They're basically shaping the future of technology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And if you are ready to take your business to the next level with AI, check out my agency Future Chat. We specialize in developing AI automation solutions to help grow your online business. And the first link in the description will take you straight there. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.